to go into this video, like I said, showing some of the steps that I take, like I said, of setting your deluxe four die set up in the Lee Classic Turk Press. First thing I like to do is I like to remove my pin just to keep my turret from turning while I'm doing this. You have to have your turret and your dies. Of course, all this will come in this. That's one thing I love about this deluxe four die set. It also comes with the factory crimp die. Any questions on anything inside of your die set, like I said, that you get, they give you, it's a very, very good set of instructions. I mean, it'll take you step by step. It's like right here, the full length resizing die. Screw the full length sizer die in until it touches the shell holder and tighten the lock ring finger tight. I mean, it's, it's pretty well simple on that. I wanted to kind of give you more of a, some type of a little bit of visual. But if you take a little bit of that visual, you know, and then read into this, I think it'll really help you, you know, understand you know, what's going on. You can see, you got your carbide sizing die, your expander through die, your bullet seating die, and your carbide factory crimp die. I'm over here at my lead turret press. We've got our turret head right here. We're going to go on, put it in. We've got a couple of empty pieces of brass. Just a couple of uh, bullets that I've got laid out here so we can make up some dummy rings. First thing I like to do is go on, get my uh, full length resizing die. We'll get it started. We'll take our shell holder. Put the shell holder in. I like to raise the ram. Bring it down until it touches. Now on mine with these carbide dies, I like to just barely move it out. Back it out just just very little. And then we'll tighten that up. And then we'll go up in. It does come all the way down on the shell holder. Just with the carbide dies, you don't want a whole lot of pressure on that carbide. You just don't want it. Full length resizing die. It will full length size all the way back down. And it will kick the primer out all in one time. Get my expander die mixed. Now I've got this in, make sure this is tight. I like to roll that around. My expander die. Screw it in. Now the adjustment on this is going to vary, especially if you use the uh, but what we're looking at on setting our adjustments it's going to be got our piece of brass we want to expand it and to adjust it we don't want to go too far but we want it to just where our bullet will start just like that right there going to spin our turret by hand, take our bullet seat and dive next, screw it down, now right up here on your adjustments, this, this is going to allow you to set in on your bullet depth like i said mine is already set up so whatever the book says you'll need calipers and you can turn this around turn twist it this way which counterclockwise which is gonna let you have a little more after it's been expanded i'm gonna Run it through. 
the size and die. I'm going to take our calipers and get a measurement on that. Adjust it as needed. I think that this next die right here, I believe, and this is just my opinion, I think it's one of the most important dies. Even if you look right here, you can still see a bit of a bulge. It may not pick up good on camera, but the leaf factory crimp die is awesome. So we're going to screw it in. Manually twist this around. All you can have to do, or to adjust your crimp, is basically the same way on your bullet sitting die. All right, on your factory crimp die, after we get it in, I like to raise my arm, get it up there, bring it down till it touches. And on this one, I generally, it, I seem to find better if I will move it out about a quarter of a turn. Let's see, let's take this out. Can run your round that we've already got done up in it, adjust it back down till you just feel tension on coming right down on top of your projectile. And I like to go about a half turn more. And that is perfect for me. Like I said, all you got to do is. From this point, you can twist it clockwise for a little more. Let's go just a little more with it. That looks beautiful right there. Like I said, with a little bit of tweaks and we've got everything in. Now you can see now we're running our we're running a perfect overall length. Everything looks good. We've Got our die set up. Gonna remove our whole turret head. Drop our pin in. Put our turret back on. Sometimes you have to get down and give it a little look see. Alright guys. Now here we've got everything set up. Going up into the full length resizing die. You're going to have a large and a small primer arm that comes with this. I'm right now using the small. I'm going to drop our primer in there. Go all the way down. We'll come up. Seat our primer. I'm going to come back up. Expand. I forgot to put my funnel in there. Expand the case mouth. Drop our charge. Going to come out. Make sure that it is a charge in there. Of course it should be. <laughs> it better be. Now we're going over to our bullet seating die. We'll set our bullet in. We'll roll back over, come right into our factory crimp die. And there it is. Looks beautiful. I believe that'll cover it guys. God bless you. We'll see y'all later.